I was on a treadmill walking and literally look how much space I've covered already. And then I, the, the, the treadmill kind of works in a way where I, when I start walking, it, it starts to get momentum. And this is really cool, like look at that. And this was done in the old, uh, not in the beta version of Rococo, just the one that's publicly available right now. Uh, so I can't wait if I combine the uh, finger tracking from the coil. This is just a, um, how fast this imports now, right now, right? It's amazing. Uh, because you can export directly um, using Rococo Studio. They've made a preset here for Unreal Engine 5. So make sure you just click that. So let's just bring, uh, bring in a different animation. Just look how fast this, how fast the folder and just call it UE5, right? And refresh this and we'll just drag and drop this animation. Now I deselect the import mesh and just select the SK Mannequin uh, default um, mannequin from the third person perspective um, template. The rest is as is. I, I usually set the custom frame rate here to 60 and then I just go import all. Now look at this. Look how fast this is going. There we go. And with no practical effort I have a perfectly working animation straight from Rococo. And the finger tracking is much better compared to what it was when we had to go through the UE4 skeleton and stuff like that. This is a lot better. The meters or more. And I did this in a, in a room uh, that's about five, three or four square meters. So really small room just with a treadmill on it. And I was get to get I was able to get this amazing foot tracking because the IK system picked picked it up.